Today, we're going to talk about a special type of glaucoma called neovascular glaucoma. In this specific type of glaucoma, there's new blood vessels that grow into the eye. And there are several causes of neovascular glaucoma. Typically, think about any condition that decreases blood flow to parts of the eye. So if you have bad diabetes or if you had a stroke in the eye, you lacked blood flow to parts of the eye. And as a result, your eye demands new blood vessels to be grown. That sounds like a good idea, but when these new blood vessels grow into the wrong spaces, that causes the drains of the eyes to get clogged up. Kind of think about weeds and branches blocking a sewer, right? If the drains are blocked up, water backs up, and the pressure climbs. As a result, with any glaucoma with high eye pressures, the optic nerve gets damaged. And just like glaucoma, you have very characteristic finding, including peripheral vision loss. With neovascular glaucoma, since the pressure spike can be rapid, there are some patients who experience significant and severe headaches, blurred vision. Patients also describe they see halos around lights. However, if this neovascular glaucoma has been going on for long term, some patients may be asymptomatic, meaning they don't have symptoms at all. So how do we take care of neovascular glaucoma? Remember, there's two things we need to address. The cause, which is the blood vessels growing in the wrong place, and the pressures, which is causing the glaucoma. So with neovascular glaucoma, we do injections of what's called anti-VEGF. VEGF stands for vascular endothelial growth factors. These are the messengers that stimulates blood vessels to grow. So when you give something that blocks it, you decrease the message to grow these blood vessels. In fact, that's also why sometimes we do laser in diabetic retinopathy because we kill the ischemic part of the retina that's releasing the VEGF molecule. Now let's talk about ways to address the pressure. I start off with eye drops. I start with oral medications and we move on to surgery. In this case, we typically do do what's called a tube shunt because we want to increase the outflow of the eye. Neovascular glaucoma is a pretty bad disease. You should definitely be seen by a team of eye doctors, often incorporating a retina doctor and even a glaucoma surgeon as well. Remember, as always, your eyes tell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.